Welcome to Module 14 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to format text using the right, left, mid, upper, lower, proper, and concatenate functions. Navigate to Sheet 2015. Here you have data on average ice levels and temperatures for 2015. It is in a format that cannot be used easily in Excel with no columns. First we see the year, then month, average ice level, then temperature. Select cells A4 through A15. Click the Data tab, and then in the Data Tools group, click Text to Columns. The Convert Text to Columns wizard opens, with Delimited selected as the default. Click Next. Select Comma as the delimiter, and deselect tab. Click Next, and then click Finish. Give column B the title Temperature. This starts to separate our data. However, we have more work to do to make this a usable worksheet. Insert three columns between columns A and B. Name these year, month, and ice level. The left function evaluates a string and takes any number of characters on the left side of the string. Let's use this function to extract the year from our string of data. Click cell B4. Click the Formulas tab. In the Function Library group, click Text and choose Left. In the text box, click A4. In the numbers of characters, type 4 because there are 4 characters in a year, and then press Tab. The preview of the result shows 2015. Click OK. 2015 now shows up in cell B4. Drag the results down to row 15. The right function is almost identical to the left function, except that the function returns the number of characters on the right side of the text string. Let's use this function to extract the ice level data. Click cell D4. In the Function Library group, click Text and choose Write. In the text box, click A4 and then press Tab. In the Numbers of Characters box, type 5, since there are four numbers and one period in the ice levels data. Click OK. 6.852 now shows up in cell D4. Drag the results down to row 15. Whereas left and right return the number of characters on either side of a text string, mid returns characters in the middle. Click cell C4. In the Function Library group, click Text and choose Mid. The Function Arguments dialog box opens. In the text box, click A4 and then press Tab. In the Start Numbers box, type 5, since this box is asking for the position of the first character we want to extract. The beginning letter of the month is character 5. In the Numbers of Characters box, type 3, since there are three letters in the name of the month, and click OK. Jan now shows up in cell C4. Drag the results down to row 15. Your data is now a usable table in Excel. The proper function capitalizes the first letter in a text string and any other letters in text that follow any character other than a letter. All other letters are converted to lowercase. Notice how the title of this spreadsheet is all in lowercase. Let's use that proper function to fix that. Click cell A2. In the Function Library group, click Text and choose Proper. 
the Function Arguments dialog box opens. In the text box, select A1. Click OK. Notice that in cell A2, the first letter of each word is capitalized. Since this looks nicer, copy cell A2 and paste as value in cell A1. Delete cell A2. Insert two rows below the spreadsheet title. Let's play around with changing the look of the title. The upper function allows you to convert text to uppercase, meaning all capital letters. Click cell A2. In the function library group, click text and choose upper. In the text box, select A1 and click OK. Now the title is in all caps. The lower function converts all uppercase letters in a text string to lowercase. Lower does not change characters in text that are not letters. Click cell A3. In the function library group, click text and choose lower. In the text box, select A1 and click OK. Now we have three looks to choose from for the title, proper, uppercase, and lowercase. Let's stick with the proper look. Delete rows two and three. For the last function we'll learn in this module, go to the Students tab. In some cases, you need to combine text strings together. Use concatenate for this purpose. In this case, we'll combine the first and last names of the students together. Label column D first, comma, last. Select cell D2. In the function library group, click text and choose concatenate. Since we want the order of their names to be first, then last, for text one, select cell B2, and text two, select cell C2. Notice how Excel automatically adds more text boxes, giving you the option to unite many pieces of data together. Click OK. Drag this formula down to complete the merger for all students.